Hey guys, um, I'm here with my 10th plus 2 buff date, yay! Um, and I'm gonna talk mainly about the World Cup um, challenge that Stitch Mania has. Um, but first, I'm gonna go through a little things and then we'll get into the World Cup challenge. So, uh, first out, I want to give a shout out to Squishy Stitches. Uh, she is a stitcher that does a lot of full coverage. She loves fantasy and she's a little bit geeky, so I really enjoyed watching her and will watch her in the future. That's exactly my style. Um, and I also found Kansas Girl in a Colorado world, Julie. I will link it below if I say it wrong. Um, I will link it below no matter what. So if I say it wrong, you can still find it there. So I know a lot of people are already watching her. Uh, I just started watching her mania and I love it. I love all, all her project. She is, she's doing some, she's having a wide, wide variation of projects she does. And I really enjoy that because uh, yes, I love geeky fantasy stuff, but I also uh, do like the cute and cuddly, the fancy ladies, and and so on. So um, it's fun watching people that have a good variation of what they are doing. Uh, going forward, I have a couple of things I want to try to do. Uh, first off, I want to try to do updates more often so they don't get that long because that is really uh, taking a toll on me. Uh, and saying that, <laughs> I also have to say that, be honest, I am, I am not feeling good. Um, I am really struggling these days. Um, and it has been a downhill for a little while and uh, I, I feel it getting worse and worse each day so uh, I don't know when I will be back on camera where you can see my face just because if this continues I, I will not be in a shape to uh, do a floss too. So, but what I will try to do, if it goes that way, uh, if I have some good days, I I will do stitch with me. Uh, I may do some little vlogging because they are so short, and um, I'm not sure if I do like a vlogging style update that I will do every day, but at least you will get to see some of the progress I am doing. And all of that depends on if I manage to get my stitching bug back, because I, now when I am as I am, uh, I have really struggled with my stitching bug. Uh, you can easily see that when I show my whips. So far, I've done. Um, and it's not like I don't have anything because uh, challenges and routines and stuff like that really helps. So that is why I will try the World Cup challenge because I think it might help me uh, get my stitching bug back 
or just general already help my everyday life just having something I feel I have to do I'm obligated to do that really helps me get through the days so so that's that I have a just a tiny tiny portion of haul the sparkly's fabric of the month for May has come in it's a 32 count Murano opalescent and this is like a very light blue with a hint of lavender in it and I absolutely love it that is more true to color back here uh, and <laughs> in all honesty if I had known about hand dyed fabric and that I have this kind of colors hand dyed fabric when I started my winter queen I would definitely do her on this instead because once when I saw it I was thinking winter queen would look lovely on that so, but I have come too far on my winter queen to rip it out and start on a new fabric. So, who knows? Maybe in the future I will do two, or I will find maybe one of the pinky the pink princesses will look lovely. Um, it's it's eighteen by twenty seven inches, so even if it's a thirty two count, I still think uh, it will fit. Uh, it will she will end up being most likely bigger than the other princesses but yeah I have to see no matter what I love the color and it will be used in the future then I have a pattern that has been all over the world in the sense all over the world uh, actually been all over the world because I ordered this of eBay uh, I saw Michelle Bendy Stitchy do a giveaway of this pattern uh, and my son he loves dinosaurs uh, so I want to do this for him so uh, I knew I most likely did not win it so I just went and bought it off eBay because I found it. I could not find what um, magazine it was in. So I was afraid it was so long back in time. I couldn't find it digitally, but I think I think I managed to find it digitally. So if you want to know what magazine it is, ask me and I can try and find out again what it was because I did find it. Uh, and it's the land of the di dinosaurs. I don't remember the name I chose. Uh, Jurassic Adventures by Emma Congdon. That's how it is going to look. And the seller managed to write that I live in. I think there's said Austria. I don't know if that is a country. I know Austria is, but that's not what was written. It was written Austria. And when I get the envelope, I could see it had been in Australia and it had been around in Europe. I even think it had gone to Canada and the US and then it managed to find a way to Norway <laughs> where it was supposed to be. So no wonder I felt this took a lot longer than it should have. So, but stuff happens. Um, I got my May. No, this is the A. No, it's the May. One of the colors actually say April silk of the month, but that's wrong because it's it's the May colors. Just. Probably a uh, 
So that is the colors. She has gone back to do uh, a whole lot of different shades of one color. And then we did get a variegated floss that matches um, the colors. So I really love this blue palette. Uh, it's uh, lovely. And I have actually, if you do the Silk of the Month Club for, from Silks for You, uh, she, Joe, the person responsible for the Silks for You, she actually, when she welcomes you to the club, she says, says that if there is any color that you want or stuff like that just ask her and she will try to get it for you so i have actually uh, asked about a couple of colors because i have i have a lot of different colors like blue and red and pinks and purple and brown green you name it i bought black myself that huge hank but what i don't have and i don't have seen on her a site that you can buy is gray color. There is like a green gray, a blue gray, but not gray. So I actually asked her to do gray. So I'm looking forward to that. I actually have already uh, a pattern in mind where I'm going to use it. So that I am looking forward to. So, so yeah. I will see. It will not come this month club because uh, she already have made and I think sent out June all already. So most likely it may come in July or August. So that was my haul. Not much, but a little bit. So my whips. Uh, I worked on my epic Pokemon and this is a free pattern so I'm not afraid to show the free pattern and I don't want to take it off because I hope to get to work some more on it uh, this month. So what I did was I finished Dratini or almost I think he has like some feet a part of his feet down here. Uh, that I haven't done and Aerodactyl is I have a good part finished on I managed to finish Eevee's ear and his face and um, this is Kabuto I don't remember the evolution and I did work some on Dratini and just finished off here. This is actually this, the next page uh, about here. Um, but I, yeah, I just, I work just over the pages. So, so yeah, I didn't get that much stitching done but I managed to get my 1200 stitches for the by the numbers tab so uh, I just have to clean away some stuff uh, then I work some more on my Mr. X stitch Christmas bubble and here's where I'm at so I uh, just missing hair and inside hair and then I will be done with the first one I'm not like hurrying to finish these off because I know like tomorrow we will travel and then uh, this will be a really good project to take with me to stitch on so uh, and I worked on my story time sampler because I have now started it. So I did finish Peter Pan, the June block. So, so far so good. And la 
lastly, what I have worked on is is this and started this dragon this is for my coaster project so this is uh, the colors I have just chosen myself I have I have like a box of uh, bobbins of colors that are not real DMC so I have, I have found the closest DMC to the colors because they're from kits and from bags of loot, uh, bags of different floss I have bought over eBay. So I just found the closest one and um, this is actually supposed to be in pinks, this dragon, and I just have converted to green and also blue will be down here. And as you see, I'm frugal with my fabric. So if I know I can stitch more on one fabric, I will. So I, ah, I, three coasters is max for this length. So, but it will be good. So I want to finish these off quickly so I can cut the fabric and not be afraid of it fraying. And then I will finish my Alice in Wonderland this corner. So, I've been working on those. And then I'm gonna show you, um, kind of like a show and tell. Uh, Julian is wine and whips stitch mania and this is definitely my wine and whip piece this is the baby blanket i started uh, when i was pregnant for my son and was so nauseous and ill at the time that i tried to stitch on it but i didn't get much done and ended up not stitching for over a year because every time I tried to bring it back out, I was just nauseous. Hmm. I actually did more than I remember. Amazing. So here is where it's at. I, I can't see anything right now, so <laughs> I hope you see it. Uh, as you can see, it's a pre-printed fabric, and I've gotten the bottom border done and started uh, the bunny, and a little bit on the carrot the rabbit is holding. So, this will come out and be one of the whips that I will try and um, stitch on in June. I know it's packed with the World Cup and other projects, but it will be like, a, I don't know, maybe if I don't feel my World Cup, I will stitch on this instead. Not likely, since this is the main problem. I will have to put that back in. So, uh, my next project I want to stitch on before the World Cup is the Winter Queen. Um, I, I was supposed to stitch on her on this five day rotation, but I ended up like really hurting my finger pretty bad so uh, I could almost not stitch at all the first day and the second day uh, it was difficult to stitch two-handed because for some reason I'm holding the needle a little bit different and it took some time getting used to stitching 
with not using that part of my finger. So I have had a five day rotation where I can like do what I want and that has been really bad. Uh, I, as I said, when I am like I am now, I need some structure. So, but here's where she was last time. She looks uh, like this. So I will stitch some more on her. And hopefully get a good progress done. I know Stitching Mommy has, I think she has started her or are going to start her because Aussie Stitcher is starting uh, Aussie Stitcher together with another Flustuber, I don't remember her name, are doing the seasonal queens uh, of the seasons in Australia because that's where they live. So they have winter now, so that's why they have started Winter Queen. And I have, I was thinking that I want to stitch on her. So, uh, the FIFA World Cup challenge. I will try to go through this fast. So, first off, the 14th is stitch on uh, its host country Russia. Stitch on something with the Russian team by a Russian designer using red, white, and blue for the Russian flag. So, my Luca S kit is. Russian kit and so I will work on her. Here's where I'm at. Uh, then it is the 15th. Uh, soccer ball stitch on something with black or white. I will stitch on my Final Fantasy 7. Here's where I'm at so far. Um, this will come up a lot of the challenges. Uh, the 16th is goal. Set yourself a goal today and meet it. Um, I have written down what tickle my fancy. So most likely I will work on this, that is what I have planned, but if I don't feel it, I will not stitch on it, but we'll see. Then the 17th, uh, FIFA, stitch on something related to letters F, I or A, Final Fantasy 7, uh, you just saw that. Uh, then the 18th. Eight champions. In the past 20 tournaments, only eight teams have won. Stitch on something related to the number eight. My temperature garden, I have a lot of um, the, the color for the eight degree temperature to do in May and June. So I will do that. Remember, I am doing the, low, the lowest temperature in the day. So that's that. Uh, 19th uh, yellow card, stitch on something yellow. Then I will stitch on my baby sampler by Joan Elliott. And here's where I'm at. And the 20th corner kick. Work on a piece where you started in the corner rather in the middle. And as you can see, I did start this in the corner. So I am using this one for that. The 21st, uh, 21st World Cup. Stitch on something related to the number 21. Uh, Final Fantasy has exactly 21 colors, so that's what I will stitch on. 22nd, football. 
This sport is called football everywhere but the US. Stitch on something re related to football, American or international version. Stock stitch on something that has a foot or a ball. Well, I do not have a football related stitching, even though my husband is a really big football fan. So maybe I should get something to stitch for him. I don't know. But my Cinderella in rags, uh, this way, you can, she has foot. I don't think I will get down to work on it, but you can clear, clearly see her foot or feet on the pattern. I didn't like want to do the winter queen or because her feet is covered by the huge dress. So that's why I did that. Uh, the 23rd, defending champions, Germany, stitch on something with a German theme or using red, yellow or black. Uh, and for that, I will use my Final Fantasy. It has a lot of black, it has a lot of red and it has a good chunk of yellow also. So, uh, June 24th, World Cup Trophy. Stitch on something related to an award, something gold or something with a cup. Uh, I went through my projects and I really struggled because most of them don't have gold and then I found two that has something golden in, in them Cinderella in rags or Esmeralda but since I already have Cinderella in rags uh, I will use her for the 24th I may also do Esmeralda I will see if my stitching bug is back that is not a problem if not it can be hard just stitching on one project the 25th, a uh, red card stitch on something red and then I will do my uh, Mr. X stitch bubble project uh, because there is a lot of red. Uh, I may also do Final Fantasy 7 depending on how close I am to a finish. So. That is a little bit more open because I have a lot of red and if I have changed the bubble I'm working on and it's not a red one then I will just stitch on my Pokemon because that has a lot of colors including red. So that's that. Uh, the 26th. 11 team members. There are 11 team members on the pitch at any one time. Stitch on something related to the number 11. And Winter Queen has exactly 11 letters, so I will stitch on her. Uh, 27th, Sabi, Sabi Waka. I totally am butchering that, I know. Sabi Waka. The Wolf mascot for the 2018 World Cup. Stitch on something with an animal in it. And I will actually start a new project that has been a that is a year of whip. And it's the a mouse with a key. It's just a little mouse holding a key. And I have changed the fabric. So I want to start that. So I can start working on it and that that one is actually going to be one of my coaster projects also because I have 30 mouse mouses in that uh, one pattern I got like 30 of them and I want to make them into coasters I don't know if all of them will be but most of them so doing that uh, and I have really been feeling the urge to working on that coaster project. I have kitted off a long time and been thinking of for a long time because now when it's so hot, um, when we are drinking, we are all like having ice cubes and stuff in our drinks to cool it down and it gets water everywhere. So a 
coaster would be nice. So, the last day, June 28th, 32 teams stitch on something related to the number 32. Well, I was thinking long and hard on this one. And actually, when I was laying in bed, I realized Pokemon has 151 Pokemons. And since I'm working at the top, maybe I have not stitched on number 132. Because 32, uh, I don't want to do because then I have to like work my way all over the bottom to get to it. So, but then I sat and did like do the generation backwards for 151, laying in bed and counting. And I was like 132, I ended up on ditto. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if that's correct. So today I wake up, I did make a check and I had counted correctly. So ditto is 132 and he is right here. I, has, I have already started him. He is on this page. So I am going to work on, on him that day. That will be. That's the World Cup of Stitch Mania and the last three days, uh, I have to see what I actually had planned. Um, I don't have a plan yet for those days. Uh, most likely if I'm, if I'm close to finishing something or after the World Cup I have an itch to stitch more on Pokemon or Winter Queen Cinderella in rags, I will do that. And that will be my June plans. And then we will be in August after that. So, no, July, of course. July comes before August. Yeah. That's what I had for you today. I tried to be quick. I hope. You didn't feel it took too long um thank you for watching thank you so much for subscribing and commenting and um, even though i am not feeling good and i'm struggling i having it having a really really bad month year call it whatever um you guys always shares me off getting comments, uh, all the pe people I talk with that I comment to on their videos or I talk with on Messenger or Instagram, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's sometimes one of the things getting me through the day. Uh, three people that a main contributor to getting me out of bed these days that are floss tubers and I don't think they even know it but it's Laura X Stitches um, uh, Stacy from Atlantica Dream Stitches and Sarah the Stitching Mommy uh, they always leave lovely comments and we chat here and there and it really helps so, thank you so much. I really love you guys. Uh, don't ever let people tell you that you're not good enough because you're good enough for me. So, thank you for watching. Bye.